This is a almost five minute video and I don't think I have five minutes worth of things to say on it. I like to test my characters against the named mob in Mertus, which is the end zone for the Burning Lands, the previous expansion. It, partly because I know they're almost always up. Um, it's empty a lot, so you can, and I can just port in and do it. So it's a nice little, you know, it's like a combat dummy for uh, for checking out your your how you're doing. So I'm using the tank mercenary here, the warrior mercenary, which I don't use him much when I'm soloing because he kind of sucks. But I don't want to tank this mob myself. He is he hits hard. Um, doing the the standard techniques, you know, I slow him, I debuff him, and then my I send in my pet and I, I start meleeing. Um, but the difference is I also drop uh, like Call of Ancients and uh, make sure I've got my Spectre of Renewal running. I hit Roar, I hit Epic, I uh, pop my Burns on this one because you know I need to really use everything I've got, and then um, I just heal and dot heal and dot my gyna triggers tell me when to refresh my specific dots and like i said i'm running five of them now um on this one it's uh the two combination dots chaotic poison and pandemic then um the curse and evil eye two magic dots and then finally uh affliction is my fifth uh dot which is a disease dot uh, this battle actually takes uh, 179 seconds, so three minutes. And I do, in terms of damage, looks like just under 380,000 DPS, of which 323,000 of that is from the Shaman. About 45,000 is from the tank. And then the final 12,000 is from my pet. Um, I'm running Tribute, and uh, I'm fully buffed. I think, did I mention I have a uh, fully buffed using the Shaman Temporary Hit Point buff? I have 450,000 hit points and 300,000 mana points, roughly. He is a raid-geared Shaman. Um, he doesn't have... The best raid gear, it's a mix of ore gear and the tier 1 stuff, tier 2 stuff. It's not that this is impressive, it's just gives you a little idea of the power of a shaman in terms of if he wants to go out and solo. I can solo um, last expansion's names. I'm sure some shaman can solo um, TOV names. I just have not tried it myself. And he's dead. And a little more stuff for the tribute. It's a good class. I enjoy the Shaman. You know, they can, um, their debuffs are not to be joked at. Even their slows, even uh, though they're not fully slowed, they help. And like I said, you can keep up a mercenary tank if you need to, which I did. I think a group geared Shaman could do this too. Um, you know, the tank is a tank. He's, he's, a, he's a mercenary tank. Your spells are going to, you know, you'll do a little more DPS, but if you can keep him up and you can get your heals off in time, and there's things you can do to get more heals, um, you know, if you can stay up for a minute, you can stay up for four minutes. And if I had run out of mana, which I did not, then you have uh, spiritual channeling, which will let you keep going. So that's all I have to say. Um, just a little look at the shaman. Talk to you guys later. Bye.